You will visit Alphano in Calusia then. Excellent. Doesn't he mean Exarlent? Ah. Uh. Yes, I can provide you with the Armanro for passage to Colusia. I will pick you out a friendly whelp. I need a new bottle of Colusia. It's low. I guess I'll go with the chocobo. Yeah, I think that's funny. I'm clicking on it. I have already clicked on it. A chocobo? Do you hail from one of Norvran's more isolated settlements, by chance? I hear there are places where they ride little else. But here, in the Crystarium, mounts like that gray fellow there are more commonly used. We already know this. We've, we've ridden one of these already. Seeing as you are plainly unaccustomed to riding on Marrow, I think it best I accompany you on this flight myself. Any son worth Worthy of the name, could do it, of course, but the Exarch sent you to me. Ensuring you arrive safely is my responsibility. Gather your things and meet me at the Armaro Lunch. One of the junior tamers will attend to you while I ready the mounts. Yeah, nice. Okay, so, so they do have chocobos. Yeah, there's one right here. So they do got chocobos, they're just kind of rare. <laughs> Distant lands. Yeah. You can now travel to uh Co Co Lucia. Oh, there we go. Shit. Huh? I, I'm, I'm going. I did oh. the thing you did oh. last stream, which was click. Oh, okay. See you on the other side. Yeah. The whistling breeze mute. The pounding surf frozen. Time itself takes a breath. At light's edge, all is perfectly still. The world captured in a painting, locked in a moment. Music, faint and fleeting, drifts coastward on the lifeless air. And in the distance, beyond the broken earth, a city beckons. There were a lot more broken things in the cinematic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little smaller than the pictures. What is this, a city for ants? Yeah, I really did it up, huh? Yeah, then you got like a little a little shit out there in the left. What yeah, is that? It's just a, it's a little, you know, it's like the Disney castle, right? You, it's all big. Mickey's there, you know, he's ziplining down. But when you actually see it, it ain't that big. We are arrived. This is Crackshell Beach, on the eastern coast of Colusia. You should be safe here for the present. Compared to the mainland, Sinir's attack. Attacks are far less prevalent, and the native beasts are not as, uh, not any more dangerous anywhere else. It is the people you should be wary of. Well, back on my homeworlds. Your people summoned Ifrit. Spy you that city in distance. That is Elumore. <laughs> For now. <laughs> the island's main settlement. It How did you find so many sy syllables in that word? <laughs> Crystarium in scale and was uh, once an ally in our battle against the abominations. For years, the Yomor elite have fancied themselves the masters of what remains our broken world. They have gone as far as to offer their leaders of other settlements their protection, if we bend the knee. But to say their ideals are questionable would be putting it mildly. The Crystarium is one amongst many who reside their heavy-handed authority, and while we are not at war, our relationship with you more is strained at best. May be wise to conceal your ties with the Exarch during your stay here, especially in the vicinity of the city. 
If you say so, bucko. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, the Exarch has instructed me to divulge a secret that should make finding your friend a good deal easier. Listen closely. Have some XP. On my next quest. On my next quest! You more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you head oh. south along the coast, you will eventually come to a fisherman's shack. A friend of the Crystarium lives there. A man who goes by the name of Ibor. Ibor keeps an eye on everything that happens in Colusia and will be able to point you in the right direction. Just hand him a sprig of thyme. That will let him know you can be trusted. Here. This should be enough. Find your friend. And I will stay here with the Amaro until you are ready to return. To the shack. I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm still missing, I'm still missing the uh, quest complete music from uh, Stormblood. Yeah, I didn't, you know, when it first played in Stormblood, I was like, ah, it's okay, but it really grew on me. When fat cats like to dine while they drink too much wine, that's your more. Hey, hey, what are you after? Fish? Crab? I think I've got an eel in a barrel somewhere. If you have a taste for him. I love eel. I like uh, uh, specifically the barbecue eel at sushi joints. Yeah, yeah. I don't like raw eel. Not a fan of that. Oh, I do love a bit of thyme. Chuck some in a pan and it's like a bloody festival of flavor. Now, what else can I do for you? Can't say there's been any major upsets to report these past few weeks. Oh, he's got the horn like the guy in Final Fantasy X. Is that an option when you make a big cat man? Big tiger why man? You, why, you, why you gotta point out my horn, man? I'm sorry, I'm you know, it's just, about the, it. it's just the first... <laughs> It's the first horn I've ever seen. I'm just excited. You know, I could say shit about your top knot. You think you're so cool, you hipster D-bag. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, you better. Watch your back when you turn around. Anyway, you're talking about that Alpha No Kid, eh? Ah, yeah. I know the one. Our young champion of the downtrodden. Yulmore is richer than all of Norvran put together, but it's a different story for them as live... Uh, for them as live outside the city. Most spend every waking moment just trying to stay alive, which makes your friend's dedication to helping others stand out all the more. Aye, I can hazard a guess as to where he is now. Get a message to him. But you'll need somewhere quiet to meet, away from prying eyes. Make for Stilltide. That's the fishing village just up the path there. You're looking for a rundown excuse for a tavern the locals call the Leaky Keel. I know that place. It's across the street from Melon Shakers. <laughs> Wait there, and I'll see that Alphano joins you. <laughs> Go Giants. Love them. <laughs> Love them. What's that the tiny uh, Susanos? What are these? <laughs> tiny Susanos? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they look I guess they, I can't, I can't, they got the red hair. They're hobgoblins. Where's that one going? It's going up the wall. Oh, they're okay. like a little, you know, hobgoblin. Oh, yeah. They're uh, kind of okay. cute. They're kind of oh, cute. Oh, yeah. They're kind of they're kind of um, uh, rebel stilt skinny. <laughs> now you're kind of talking like the, the you kind of got the Carl going. Yeah, you, you, gave me the, you gave me the cadence. I'm stuck yeah. on your cadence. I can't do your accent, but I'm stuck on your cadence. Hey, I'm, cho I'm chocobo in here. You look at you look at y'all imposing in here, looking good. We got, oh, we got look at this. We got people RPing everyone. in here. Yeah, I love RPing. this shit. Hell yeah. This is great. Maximum you all points. Look part of it. That's great. <sighs> I'm destinationing. This this is this is what's awesome about having folks hang out while you yeah. quest. I've, I've seen I've seen the complaints. I see y'all complaining in the, in the oh. comments. Why are people so many people following around? But this this is awesome. Well, some people were talking about how, like, uh, you know, it, it, we were doing the Alize part, and they're like, it wasn't like that. It wasn't, but if you played opening night, it was probably packed, right? Like, or I would assume so. Unless they instanced you or zoned you or something, right? Like, opening night, it was probably people were surrounding everything, running after Alize and, and getting Sin Eaters and stuff. Yeah, po posting up in, in places like this and making yourself look like part of the scenery, man. I love that stuff. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so freaking cool. Who's. Eva. 
Oh, oh, the, the barkeep. Uh, got okay. a Elizen barkeep, yeah, it looks yeah, like, with, or whatever hot, whatever the elves are called. French in, fries in the first. or... already forgotten. Worms or whatever the heck is in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time in the tavern. It's customary to buy a drink if you mean to loiter. What will you be having? Uh, I'm going to have an ale. Okay. I'm down. A fine choice. And what will you be paying with? A gill, which I've been told at length is accepted here. Well, now those are exotic. Where did you come by coins like that? I'm sorry, dear. I don't doubt that they have value, but I don't have a touchstone to test their purity. And I'm not about to go begging for one from the neighbors. So we'll have to just come to some other arrangement. Need an MMO quest? Ah, here's an idea. There's a common to the north where we grow our vegetables, but lately the pests have been eating more of them than we have. What do you say to a bit of extermination work? I want you to squash any vermin you find, then visit the caretaker and give him an earful from me for sleeping on the job. He'll be in the old silo next to the fence, snoring like as not. Do that for me, and you can laze about here as long as you like. Hey, MMO quest! <clears throat> Kill the things. Kill three things. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to be killing some things. I'm going to eat something. I'm going to get out my, my gecko to greens. fight things? Yeah, I'm going to fight. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be ready. Let me eat a cookie. Yeah. I haven't used my geesel greens in forever. Yeah. What are we doing in here? What are we doing in here? We are oh, here. Oh, blighted crop. Yeah. Blighted crop in the corner. Click those blighted crops. I sense a hostile presence. Pestilence nice. swarm is down. All right. Uh, okay, there's another there's one somewhere. More. Oh, we got back I here. See it. We got some blighted crops. Just ain't the same without us both diving, but the XP is good. The XP is good. And back to what's, what's, the, what, the what does the Grinch, what does the Grinch say in the the Jim Carrey movie? Almost lost my cool this, there. No, something something in the powders bitching. <laughs> no idea. I don't remember that line at all. It's, it's towards the end. It's no I think response. it's the air is cold and the power is pitching. I forget. Maybe you need to knock louder. <laughs> a knock, knock, knock a roo. No knock, response. Knock. Perhaps the occupant okay. is hard of hearing. Blast it open. You hear a faint squeaking from the door beyond, or the room beyond. Time to burst in and save the day, brave adventurer. Is that warrior of darkness? Is he, is he inner monologuing us? No one is home, and judging by the lack of furniture, they haven't been for some time. The gnawed scrap of vegetables on the floor suggests rats have taken up residence in their absence. I think this is our inner monologue, so it should just be our voice. Oh, okay what I'm going with. I'm thinking, you know, I'm never really, I guess they just sound like me. I've never really thought about my warrior light's voice. Because we don't, we don't speak. Uh, mine is definitely a petulant teenage Garrett. Ah. Uh, Maximum emo. Really excited that the Hot Topic just opened uh, up in the mall. Oh, man, yeah. Which we lost our Hot Topic, but then I just found out that we're getting a new one in the mall that's a lot closer to us, and I'm very excited. Oh, congrats. Even though I am, you know, pushing 40. Don't hey, care. you know, so is Hot Topic. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I still find shirts for bands I listen to. Welcome back, dear. What did you, did that good for nothing caretaker have to say for himself? Gone? Hmm. Must have left to join the rest of the hopefuls. In Gate Town, outside of, oh, I wrote down Yulemore. You don't have a clue what I'm talking about, do you? And there I was thinking you were another dreamer. Well, never mind at all. Take a seat wherever you'd like, dear. You're, you've more than earned it. I'll even throw another drink on the house. Nah, some of the some, uh, Star some Wars low... boy milk. <laughs> That played a interesting role in Andor this week. Okay. How is business today, Mistress Theva? Hmm. Oh, right. I like that poncho. 
It was in a pineapple under the sea. Oh, frenetic. Look, I have a new customer. <laughs> so secretive. Oh! Yeah. Tis good to see you, my friend. Get over here, Val's a hugger. The barley seeds you wanted. <laughs> they should produce a better harvest than the last. What, just like that? Oh, Alfino, no. you really are a dear. Oh, I'm sad he used his real name. I was hoping we'd get to hear what Alfino would call himself. Well, I'd best like be tidying up yeah. some of those empty shacks before the pests move in. Keep an eye on the place while I'm out, eh? She's going to be very mad that we broke down the door of the empty shack with the pests in it. A little uh, uh, Val tuna uh, uh, turtleneck going last on. We spoke. Mm -hmm. Not since the prisoner exchange in Doma and Yotsu. That is true. It has been even longer for me, of course, if you count the days I've spent here. But the time has only added to the relief I feel seeing you safe and well. <laughs> Aww. Uh, both are heartwarming. Um. Oh, right, right, in the burn. Yeah, I guess we were nervous. We had, I mean, we we had, you know, scenes we didn't see as the Warrior of Light. Yeah. Your call. Um, you know, his ship was downed in the burn. I, I think I'm going to go bottom. And okay. we implies to Alizé and, you know, the, the whole gang yep. missed you. Gets everybody in there. Yeah. Huh. Alizé said much the same thing. I don't think I've ever had such a scolding. <laughs> I bet. But I believe an exchange of news is in order. Come, tell me of your arrival and all that came before. I see. But the Exarch and Dalize told me what they knew of events. But I had stubbornly clung on to the hope that all-out war might yet be avoidable. And poor Tataru. She must be sick with worry. We must endeavor to return as soon as we may. It would be nice to bring her good tidings for a change. But before we bid this world farewell, we must first ensure that it is not rejoined to the source. We must prevent the eighth umbral calamity. Hear, hear. Orianger's vision of the future has, I fear, every chance of coming true. By his description, the catalyst for the calamity was a formless and deadly weapon employed by the Garlean Empire. Oh. Which can only mean one thing. Ah. Black Rose. Gaius was telling you the truth. When we were on the trail of the Asians, we saw evidence that the gas was being manufactured once more. Gaius was adamant that the project had been scrapped. But so long as there are wars to be waged, there will always be those determined to win by any means. And thus simply destroying the existing stores of Black Rose would do little to alter fate's course. In that sense, our involuntary journey here to the first was something of a boon. Together with the Exarch, we've developed a theory as to how we believe the rejoining will be set in motion. I'm sure Orianger himself will cover the subject in more detail. I bet he will. <laughs> But I can tell you the process requires that both worlds, the Source and the First, be facing an existential threat. One being Sin Eaters, of course. They are a menace that I would dearly love to remove, and not just to avert a calamity. I may be a stranger to this world, but I will not stand idly by and let innocent people be slaughtered.
That is what brought me to the gates of Yulmore. Ignoring its pretensions as a kind of capital city to what remains of the world, it is nonetheless a center of power and authority. If any solutions are to be found, I believe our search should begin there. What say you, old friend? Hungry for another adventure? <laughs> Called it towering. And so we take to the road once more. I hope we're going to the city. I want to see the city. I know they, they might string it along a bit, but that's where I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Waking up to someone drunk on the bar is pretty good. It's well done. Well played. <laughs>